Hey everybody, so my name is Melissa and I just wanted to talk to you guys about my cosmetology experience. Um, I've recorded this video like three times already. This just didn't come out great. But now I have the house to myself and I can feel alive and like myself and I feel like I can talk to you guys more, you know, personal, more face to face, you know? So anyways, let's get started. So I am currently in cosmetology program. I have one more semester to go. It is split into like school semesters. And I am in high school while I am doing it. So yes, I am pretty young. I'm a senior in high school. I started my junior year and at our high school they have a program called dual enrollment. And for our electives, we could choose to go to, you know, have regular electives, four electives. We have eight classes in all. But instead, I chose to go to CCI and do their cosmetology program. Now, I love it. I do not regret it. I just want to tell y'all first, I love it so much. I'd rather be doing hair and makeup and learning all about this than sitting in a classroom, in a computer classroom, and be so bored and just sitting there, you know? Anyways, first year, first semester, first couple weeks, a lot of book work. It was a lot of book work at first. At first, no one liked it. No one liked that we had to dress out every single day wearing all black scrubs and our badge. Even if we didn't do anything or we weren't in the lab, we started to dress out. We hated it, but now we understand. We are used to it, we're accustomed to all these things. Now, the workbooks were crazy. We did a lot of online work and it was kind of a lot, but it only lasted a little bit and it got exciting once we got into our salon like lab and it's like we have our own salon chairs and we have our own shampoo bowls and we have our own kit with flat irons perm rods roller sets shears capes brushes clips flat irons curl irons everything you need and we are sponsored by redkin products our salon at our school so after all that book work we basically learned the first things which were how to section properly how to drape properly for a shampoo and a cut and all that other stuff and chemical services now we have these lab sheets and each time you do something we go to our instructor and she signs off she checks it and she signs off every single time and that's how kind of we got credits and we had to do like 30 drapes or like 30 shampoos and it felt so repetitive like <sighs> but now you know we could do it really good we learn how to shampoo and we use you know the, sh the shampoo the cheap shampoo and conditioner for the mannequins because you know you don't want to waste the good stuff on the mannequins after shampoo and stuff we learned how to do the first year we had learned how to do haircuts we learn how to do like all kinds of haircuts, like blunt cut, 90 degree cut, and layers and all that stuff, and bobs. We haven't done guys cuts yet because we don't want to cut all the hair off yet. We learn roller sets, the big rollers with the, the red rollers, you know, the little holes, and then you roll the hair on it. We learn perm rods, which we take in wraps and sections, and you put it in the perms and put the solution and all that for a perm. We do perm rods so many times, it gets so repetitive, but you really do learn. Like I'm telling you, I learned so much and I don't regret it, I love it so much. Once we got into hair color, that was my favorite part. I loved hair color. We learned the basics, like all the, all the theories and stuff, all the book work first, and then you get to do real hair color. Now, we learned about like rinses, color rinses, temporary hair dye, demi, permanent, um, semi, bleach, what you can and can do with bleach, um, color with bleach, volumes, developers. We learned everything you can think of. And the instructor, she's done, she's had her own business before. So she's done hair and stuff before. So whatever questions you had, you could ask her. So yeah, she knew a lot of things and all that took up like the whole year. It doesn't sound like a lot, but there's a lot of little things that you learn and a lot of things that you have to know to really do it the right way. Because that made us realize that a lot of people in the salons don't really do it the right way and don't really do it. Now, I'm not saying the right way, but maybe the the proper way. They could do it their own way and have their own technique, but I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to like bash salons, you know? I'm just saying, just saying. 
So yeah, the second year, I am a senior. You know, you don't go in the summertime or anything. You do like the whole school thing. And this year so far, we're learning about the skin now and all of the microdermabrasion. We have our own microdermabrasion room and our own facial room. We learn facials. I swear we've done so many facials. I think I've done like 100 facials on my mannequins with facial cream and all that. And then we recently just learned how to do acrylics and nails and nail care and we watched so many like videos. Now, of course, before you start each class, you watch theories, videos, you do book work and she talks to you about it and you take notes in class and there is tests and quizzes on each section and study guides and stuff like that online and it's all online. And you do it on your own time or we have like a day in class to do the tests and quizzes. But and they're not they're not that hard because there's so many reviews and study guides where it kind of gets stuck in your head and all the answers are like the same so it's really easy anyways what was i saying okay yeah we learned acrylics and all that and now we are we're still doing nails but we have this whole lab sheet where we can do anything we want and we get a sign off and whoever finishes first gets a prize but of course all those credits are credits we're not doing it just for fun we're just seeing you know what just to you know give us a little competition and be faster and practice so people are doing random things some people are doing makeup on makeup sheets yeah i forgot to mention we have learned makeup and we do makeup on the little like they're kind of like mac you know how mac you do makeup on little paper that's how we do it and we have palettes too like with actual eyelids and lips on it like rubber lips and rubber eyelids um yeah, we do that. Some people will do makeup. Some people will do a perm rod. Some people will braid their hair. Some people will straighten the mannequin's hair, curl the hair. Some people will dye their hair, bleach the mannequin's hair, add highlights. We learned highlights and foils and all that stuff. The instructor is really chill. I really love the place there. We have to be there at 9 in the morning in the high schools. They start at 8.30. So we can get there a little late if we drive like me. I drive. I think that's all basically we do done i might be missing a few things but i'm telling you we learn everything and if you want to learn a specific thing that you don't know like what are those waves called those waves on the hair oh my god what are they called i forgot what they're called oh my god if you want to learn something specific you could always ask your instructor and she will teach you especially on the days where you can pick your own thing like my friend, she is doing a sew-in. She's learning how to do a sew-in and it came out so good. She has her own weave at home that she's had before on her own hair and she just did it on her mannequin and it looks so good. Some people didn't know how to braid or corn rolls or stuff like that and the instructor will teach us. And even your other friends who might know a little different things than you can teach you too. So our next semester we're going to be doing real people so we can do each other, we can do family and friends, we can bring people in and... The people who get it done there, we use the good products on them. We use Redken products. We do all these good things to them. But, of course, they sign a little contract where, you know, if we do burn all their hair off or bleach all their hair off, they can't sue us. But, of course, our instructor is there to, you know, to guide us. I love it. <laughs> it's such a great program. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys about the price. It isn't expensive. It isn't as expensive for you to do it in high school than if you were to do it out of high school, like if you were already graduated and you're paying full price for it, you would pay thousands of dollars. Now I'm talking about like probably like two thousand dollars a semester. But for us, we paid a hundred and eighty dollars each semester for the first year. And if you applied early for this year, my senior year, you could get your first semester fees of your senior year paid off. So I did not have to pay for this first semester. I only paid for the last two semesters of last year, my junior year. And now I might have to pay for my next semester coming up after December. That's basically how it works. Now that school as a whole, there's so many volunteer opportunities. There's so many things like that. I'm not going to get into that because that's not really the cosmetology program, but I really love that campus. Yeah, I love it. If you have an opportunity to do that, if you're still in high school and there's something like that for you or something you can go to, do it. And even if you're not in high school, like if you're already graduated, if you can find a good program that will teach you these things that you really want to learn and no one will teach you, you really don't have anyone to teach you these things or 
you really want to have that hands-on experience, that in-class experience, and all those products to be accessible to you, do it. You can apply for scholarships. It's really easy because most of those programs are at a technical school. So if you do it, like, there's nothing you could really lose, you know? So I say go for it. We are going for our license, our actual license. We're going to go to state board. Now, in the summertime, I am going to have to take two college classes, just a math and a basic lit. Now, I could exempt them if I wanted to. I might take the test to exempt them because I think I could pass them already. That's all it is. You go to state board, you get your license, you can make money already. Even if you don't have your license and all that stuff, you have little friends or family on the side and you already think you're comfortable enough to practice and they're letting you practice on them, then do it. Like, you can make money. Even if it's like $10, you know, $5, $10, $20, it adds up. And practice makes perfect. I still haven't really practiced. I've been practicing on my mom and my dad, of course. I've been cutting my dad's hair and dyeing his hair and cutting my mom's hair and dyeing her hair. I want to get into makeup. And doing other people's makeup. I really want to do that. So I'm trying to get my kit together. I already have all my makeup that I like. That I use for me. But I want to get makeup for the people I use. Now I have my, old, my whole vanity area right here. But I'll show y'all that one day. Another video. So yeah. I mean I don't think I'm missing anything. I just want to tell y'all. Go for it. Go for your dreams. Don't let anyone stop you. Even if people think it's silly or something, don't let people tell you what you can and can't do. Like, don't. I've seen so many people go in there having no idea what they're doing, and now they're so good. They take their time at their own pace, and they are so good now. Like, it's just crazy. Just follow what you dream for, basically. That's all I have to say about my cosmetology program and my cosmetology experience. If you guys have any more questions about it or any other video suggestions or things you want to see or any comments at all, please leave them down in the comments below. I will read them and I will reply, reply to you guys. And yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe for more videos. I really will try to put more content up when I have time. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And until then, I will talk to you guys in another video. And yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.